Mr. President, Rocha Sokrocha, Imo West. I really wonder any time issue of women come up, it creates some kind of laughter and in the minds of men. But the motion before us is too serious because we are talking about not just women, our mothers to be, or even our mothers. And I, I know that every senator here is directly or indirectly too close to the mother. And we know that as, as growing up kids, you don't dare abuse my mother and go free, but you can abuse my father and I will not respond to you. That tells how important women are in society and to us generally. But I think it's high time, Mr. President, that we, we listen to women of Nigeria particularly and make a loud condemnation of this violence against women. Most of us do not know that women are going through a lot of emotional torture. Women go through a lot in our political system, in our social life system, because somehow, I don't think our nation has taken this matter seriously. Uh, it's becoming like a national anthem, that when we say it, and everybody just sing it anyhow. But I think we should listen to this motion, and first of all, as the Senate, totally condemn this and dramatize it. And those who do this will be the men and leaders of our society. But for some reason, uh, most men believe that uh, uh, women are uh, under. I agree, but it's not the case, because they're also human. Uh, my dear sister, the single senator, I support you in this motion, but I think a step should be taken further by women of Nigeria. Because if there are corporations among the women, I'm sure the women will defeat the men. But uh, first of all, also preach the gospel that women must come together to fight this, not just a lonely voice. Because the 13-year-old girl wrecks immorality everywhere, decay of morals in our society. Two years old baby. We hear all these cases. And somehow it's swept under the carpet as if it is nothing. Are we waiting until it becomes our daughters and our wives and our mothers that are directly involved that before we can react? I think the time has called for urgency now that we should address this issue of um, violence against women, whether emotionally or physically against any woman. Um, and Mr. President, though you have spoken on the issue of uh, Kogi, we have talked about it, but people should be raising this up. When things of this nature come, let us not politicize it. Let's condemn it. It's not political. It has nothing to do with politics. Once death comes into a matter, irrespective of your party affiliation, we must condemn it totally. And there's no excuse whatsoever. No one should make an excuse or make it look like it has been a tradition. It's not just a tradition. Even if it's a tradition, it must stop that nobody's blood should be laid for, for issues of election. And our electoral act must be guided accordingly so we can stop this violence and hate in our political practice. And who are we deceiving? We are deceiving the society. Today we are PDP, tomorrow we are APC, tomorrow we are APC, tomorrow we are PDP, which means we are looking for opportunity to just get to power without considering the, the, the impact of the negativity on the poor masses of Nigeria. So I support you, madam, that this issue must be taken to a higher level and the Senate must lead the campaign against violence uh, on women. Thank you.